Ford is the first to introduce this new technology in cars, inflatable seat belts. They're safer and a lot more comfortable. They look like normal seat belts. The inflation is tucked away, hidden inside the vinyl strap. Upon impact, the airbag inside comes flying out. It breaks through this seam on the edge of the belt. Now, because these inflatable seat belts have this extra material inside, it makes the belt a little thicker, a little more padded, a little more cushiony than a regular seat belt. I thought it was more comfortable than what we use now. Each belt's tubular airbag inflates with cold compressed gas that flows through a specially designed buckle from a cylinder housed below the seat belt. Ford claims they have proved through their testing that these are safer than what we use now. Seatbelts cause their fair share of damage upon impact. They have such a thin surface area that crushes into you when you're in an accident. The inflated belt helps distribute crash force energy across five times more of the passenger's torso than a traditional belt. For now, they will only be for back seat passengers since front seats have airbags. But they may eventually make their way up to the front. So far, Ford has gotten a very positive response from consumers they have tested these with. I could feel how it would distribute the force of an impact on your body much better than a regular seatbelt. These inflatable seatbelts were designed with children and the elderly in mind, people who are more fragile. You can use them with kids, even with kids sitting in car seats. Inflatable seatbelts will make their world debut in the 2011 Ford Explorer. It comes out later this summer, and then they will eventually be in all Ford cars. Gabe Slate, Cron4 News.